Hello everyone, welcome to this new episode of Genius Panda. Today we're gonna present a really cool Revit feature which is design options. So in your project you have something that you wanna design several times. Let's say in our case here there is terraces, but you can also use it for structural design or MEP design as we're gonna see later. And you don't wanna save another file or for example erase a content and replace it with another another design there when design options feature comes handy so let's begin from the manage tab and pressing design options okay let me stop here and try to explain the design options dialog first of all you have your option set which means for example i want to change the terrace or i want to change the the windows so each changes of these or each options are grouped in something called set then we have the group controlling the options uh, which is down there uh, so let me create my option terrace options create another a new option as we can see here, I'm in a mode like an editing mode for a for an option, and uh, and what does it, this means that I have like this virtual environment that I can create or uh, paste uh, existing object from the main model. Uh, we have to know that uh, everything within an option is isolated from from another elements for example in joining or something like that and from the main model let me just go back to the main model and try to add some elements in my case would be the the floors and the handrail now as you added some elements to your uh, option set you can see that they are not uh, not grayscale. That means that you can edit them the way you you would like. So quickly, I'm gonna fast forward this, editing some new shapes for the terraces. And as we can see there. I already finished my option. I can switch between options to see each one when I, from the dra the drop menu. So let me choose just option two, and there we have it. Another form of terraces. And if I want to make something default, I'm gonna make it the primary option. So for example, in my case, it's option one, and uh, okay. Just let me do a third option, just for fun, where I add new elements to the design set because, because in the design options, I don't have to use the same elements and change them. I can always uh, use new elements. And for this, for example, I'm doing terraces with the, with a parapet, not with a, with a glass handrail. And that's it. I can now change my uh, to see the vari the uh, the variety of options that I made without uh, erasing or changing location. Of my model, and it's not only for architecture but also for structure and MEP. And to prove it, let me just make some design options for some cable trays.
So that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends and give us your like and any comments, I'll be glad to read it. Thank you. See you next time.